So here I am at the edge of the river and it's a cold day. It's nice and bright, but it is cold. There are a group of maybe 20 or 30 goldeneye that um, spend this January, February time of the year on the river. And just now in calm, good weather, they start to display and it looks amazing. So I'm going to do a bit of painting of that today, just some sketching and field work. I'm going to use this uh, beautiful blue uh, paper, it's called Turner Grey, it's made by Two Rivers Paper Company, it's lovely and on bright days like this it is great to work on because you don't get glare, so you don't get that snow blindness that you would otherwise get. So I'm going to spend a little time just watching and then sketching and um, I will draw out a few um, starter lines like this and begin to sketch in just like that. And you can see I've got this, the sun's quite low, so I've got this kind of cross light. Uh, but really I'm just starting off with the, yeah, just the general shapes of these birds. And they've got this kind of, these buffle heads like that. What goes where? Yeah, just like that. So there's um, a group of males displaying around the female. Okay, here we go, beginning to just put in the dark coloured heads. Putting in a mid-tone, it's almost like a grey. There we go. This doesn't matter too much, you just want it to be a middle colour so that you can go darker and lighter. And when it dries, that blue-grey paper will soften the whole thing. Amazing place to be painting, the geese going over. And so, uh, time for a bit of white. So quite a thin white, um, just lightening the mid-tone paper underneath. Very fast we're working and just putting down flat areas. And we go back into this with a lighter white much later. So we're doing that, but also drawing it down into the reflection of the water. See? You can be quite loose with this. Um, I was slightly tempted to add some yellow into this to warm it up, but um, I want to keep it as a cold scene, so I'm leaving it very, very pristine white. And working into these white patches on the face of the males, dropping it in as a flat colour here. Watch. And then in the background, just dabbing in some more light, just suggesting this sort of reflected light cascading down. We'll get back to that later. Well, what else has been going on? Well, I've got this bit of grey board. You can see this. And it's rigid, it's daler, it's the conservation quality so it won't fade again in grey so I can cope with this really bright intense light. It's lovely and still here but I'm just going to, while, while that wash that I did is just drying, I'm going to use my time just to sketch and I've rigged out this square shape already and I've put up, I cut a plate and just draw a circle in it. I'm going to use this as the ha simulation of the view that I've got, a close up view through the telescope. And yeah, bear with me here. I'm just going to, yeah, just there's the rigging of the bird. And then I'm thinking about where the head goes. I'm going to have to put the phone down so I can begin to make some progress on this because you just jig it, jig it out and then, yeah, where's the eye coming in here? Then the so while that's drying, 
I've been making quiet progress on this. Um, it's really cold. You can see the frost in here. There's ice on the edge of the river and I've just been um, working on this. It's gone so fast that I've forgotten to film the progress on it. But I've using this stylized layout, there were a few brief flurries of flakes of snow that ran across and I've just incorporated that into the design. I will need to pick out now some of the bright edging and a little bit of detail. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I, I need to pay more attention to uh, doing this in a step-by-step -step way. Sorry, I got carried away into it. But you see, it's making progress there. Gosh, you can hear the geese flying in. Pink-footed geese. And it's, yeah, the day is beginning to get late. It's getting colder all the time. I'm going to have to stop soon and do finishing off tomorrow. But I'm just going to rig in some of these edges of where the, the little crispy bits of ice have been forming. You see that? Just just enough to give it a bit of... Now, the, the nice way of work, working on this grey board is it begins to get a design effect and uh, you've got these kind of flat, almost woodblock print shapes. I'm going to try and keep that. Yeah, so you mix a colour, but you're mixing on white, so always, always test what's that actually going to look like when you put it on the page. Yeah, that's going to be fine, so we can put a bit more in here. Now you hear the geese? <laughs> yeah, I may have to stop pretty soon, it's getting, getting really cold. Watch these rocks are really slippy. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely a good spot. Um, it just looks beautiful. And uh, yeah, the sun's even starting to come out. Oh, fantastic. Some, uh, there's some ducks in pretty close, so I'm just going to spend a bit of time putting in a bit more detail here. Oh, they look fantastic. They just look amazing in this light. And I'm um, beginning to put in dots in the eyes here. Now the birds at the back, the snow's beginning to get a bit exciting. Um, I'll probably have to take a wee break soon. So I'm just getting the dots in where the eyes are. Putting them in quite light just now. And uh, the ones at the back will have less definition. And the ones in the front, yeah, will have uh, much crisper edges. Need to get some definition here and there. I'm using my finger to soften bits which are just a little too harsh. That's going to allow me to put in some key bits of features like the pupil in the eye. Okay, the next bit is to get some a bit of darkness and de definition on the water here. So I'm going in and painting some of this negative space around a few of the birds with a kind of grey cerulean like this. There we go, that's good. And then pulling through those washes with some textured lines across the way to suggest the waves coming in, the ripples in the water. 
Okay, and using uh, white and lemon just to put in the light in the lower part of the eye. Doing that for these ones at the front, but not so much detail at the back. Okay, some real bits of detail coming in here using this isn't quite white, it's more of a grey, but I'll come back in with a brighter white later. And that's just using on the shiny bits of the bill. Okay, more detail, more grey coming in here. And just these shiny little highlights that are being picked up by the sunlight here. Yeah. Right now the big guns, so this is absolutely pure white. Picking up the very brightest highlight. Yeah. And I can use that white just dotted all over the place to pick up these very brightest highlights. There we go. Okay, now pulling into the water and trying to put in some just ripples like this, which are going to reflect some of the dark from the ducks. Okay, and that's going to be the last few marks of that. This is all getting a bit challenging with the, with the snow. <laughs> Okay, and here's the thing I've left for very, very last, which is the highlights in the water. So I've mixed up some white gouache and I'm working into this and just trying to quite fluidly pick up some of these ripples like this. You'll see that although it's a big brush carrying a lot of paint, it's got a very fine tip and that allows me to do these very fine edged little ripples and also then go back in. So I'm saving a lot of time just doing this, but the brush is holding a lot of paint too. Yeah, and just suddenly, that's it. I think that's enough. If I do any more, I'm going to overwork it. So I'm just going to quickly put in the signature. Here we go. So that's it. I think everything's there, enough detail and enough softness on the birds at the back to make the whole thing come together. So that's me finished for the day. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. It really helps. Thank you very much and I'll see you the next time.